Hello people, and welcome to the first episode of Palavan, our new main city Skylines Let's Play. And uh, I'm so excited to, uh, to get started. So let's run over a couple of things uh, for the kind of information on the series. We are running totally vanilla. There are no mods active on this save whatsoever. Well, besides the cinematic camera mod for my cinematics, of course. Uh, there are no mods active on this save. We are playing with right hand drive on, as usual, this is what I usually play with, so uh, we're right hand drive for this city. And the map is Murky Coast. So I had a real, real tough time trying to decide on a map. Um, I tried Swamplands, I tried Azure Gulf, many, many different ones. Northwood Hills was a very strong contender. Uh, but ultimately, um, I settled on Murky Coast. And the reason for this is because it's such a nice, varied landscape. Uh, for one, we are in the Boreal theme, so we're kind of playing with these, like, conifer looking guys. And uh, it'd be really nice to kind of make, kind of, totally the polar opposite from Begusia, which was kind of very beach heavy, it was very bright, very sunny. You know, we're a little, uh, I guess murky is the word, right? After murky coast. And then um, there's lots of possibilities. We have coastline over here, towards the back edge of this mountain. Got lots of rivers, and also lots of, uh, kind of, flatland. Uh, in amongst all the middle of the map as well so it's a super nice map uh, it comes with the campus dlc if you are wondering uh, map is murky coast and you will need campus to play it so uh yeah super excited uh, let me know as well guys um where you kind of think things should lie for this series uh, at the moment i'm thinking of kind of taking the high density downtown stuff over towards the coast however in Begusia we did build a coastal downtown so maybe in this series uh, we kind of have our downtown reside on this little bit of land around here and have it flanked by these two wide rivers uh, either way i would be very keen to know kind of what you guys think this map should develop uh, we may, at towards the end of the series, install the 25 tile mod so we can expand out. That will be dependent on how much we're enjoying this city, how much you guys are enjoying it, as well as myself. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see if we want to expand elsewhere into the map with the 25 tile mod. Uh, maybe 81 as well. well. I guess we'll just kind of see how things develop. But at least up until the final milestone, uh, we will be playing totally vanilla. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to use uh, my start to the city for this. Um, you guys would have seen this in the How to Start Your City for 2020 video. And uh, it's a really simple start. It's probably the most expensive. And what we're going to do is bring two one-way roads out by a distance of 30 tiles. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our small roundabout. So let's bring this roughly in the middle. Probably about there I should do. That'd be fine. Uh, and then of course we want to go ahead and lock our roundabout in place let's draw a little plus symbol in the middle fantastic let's get rid of those and then we can start to plan in our little exit roads onto the roundabout here so we'll bring our one-way roads up to here each side just a, a tile away from the main highway roads so my start to the city is probably one of the more expensive ones um, a lot of people like to kind of use dirt roads to map out their road network first and then um, upgrade them at a later date. But for me, I just like to just like to get stuck in, make it look nice from the get-go. But we will blow um, our entire budget, so uh, we may struggle a little bit at the start, but we will get there in, uh, in the end. Super, and then we can just bring these guys to hook in. And eventually, once we unlock the roads, we'll make these uh, highway roads. And then we'll be able to uh, do something quite nice with this. So, my start to the city involves putting a bridge over the roundabout. However, we're not going to do that just yet. We will eventually. Because uh, basically what we'll do is we'll extend this highway kind of through this side of the map as well. And um, there is one over here. So, a possibility of actually hooking the highway into here at some point, but we'll, that's a, a fair way away yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and plan in some of our services. So we'll upgrade these roundabout exit roads into four lanes. Now on this map, there is the national rail line is right here, uh, which is super close for kind of the start of the map. So on the second milestone, we can actually get access to that. Uh, although we won't be able to actually have any trains stop until we unlock train transport. 
So with that in mind, I'm going to leave this road at a dead end here with a view to expand something into this particular little train network here. And then, so I think we'll bring the a little road along there. And then what we'll do is, because this industry area here isn't going to be around forever, so we'll just draw in some pretty boring, rather generic uh, kind of industrial grids. Uh, let's see what we're doing here for the length of 320. So we'll just kind of keep it super simple it's, you know it's not gonna be too impressive because this won't be here forever we'll probably eventually turn this into forestry or something uh, but for right now we'll leave it as um we'll probably have a little break there as well so let's grab our coal power plant of course first of all of course people might like to use the um the windmills at the start but coal power plants always reliable we'll have a couple of these in before we eventually move into kind of the higher end and we'll eventually make our own dedicated power area. Super. Let's have a look at some water. So the nearest water source is kind of all the way over here. Now that's a long way to kind of drag water pipes over. If we're kind of looking you know, at that's nearly like 5,000 by the time we brought it from the water. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go for the flat fee for the water tower for right now. Uh, this will get us through our first couple of milestones. Uh, so once we've kind of got through them uh, we'll have the money to either get the better water tower or then kind of install some actual kind of pumping stuff. So I think kind of placing this right in the middle of our little roundabout here is going to be uh, really nice. It's got that kind of small town vibe to it already. And I'm really looking forward to kind of seeing how the theme of this city develops compared to Begusia because we're in the boreal theme. Um, it'll be interesting just to kind of gauge how different the city looks. Obviously Bakuja was kind of like super sunny and really bright. Uh, okay, so we have this enormous rock in the middle of our path right now, which isn't something I'm overly fond of. So I think what we're going to do is bring the road along this point right here and we'll curve it around. But I want to make sure that we are kind of remaining parallel. So I'm just going to draw out a little dirt road. just up to here just so we can kind of gauge where we want our actual kind of main commercial road to sit so there's a lot of trees around here dear god <laughs> let's, uh, let's try clear some of these out just so we can kind of see the terrain a little bit better okay so the terrain flattens out about it's about here isn't it so let's kind of come out by 10 and we'll bring it out and we're not too crazy there i don't think no that seems to be okay and then we'll take him down like that. Super. Then let's grab our freeform tool. And then we'll curve around with this road here. And let's actually take a little bit back off of that. We'll come down to this angle. And then we can hook up together. So I have this nice little windy kind of main street as we enter. Uh, the first town of Palavan here. Shout out as well, um, if anyone knows where Palavan is from. I will love you guys forever if you are referencing Palavan in the, in the comments. Uh, okay, so let's have a little kind of overview here. Let's go ahead and get our water pipes in before we forget about that. Uh, so we're kind of... Now usually when I'm playing um, kind of cities, I like to follow um, the, the water pipe network. Kind of following it with the roads. It looks really nice at the end, but for right now, um, we're just going to kind of keep it as efficient as possible, but we will eventually kind of make it less and less efficient as the series progresses. Okay, so let's have a look at some first little suburban layouts. Let's come into our two-lane roads, and we'll come into our snapping. So I think we'll come out here, and then we'll bring our third road out like that so what we'll do now is we'll just hook some of these together so with this kind of initial part land right here what I'm gonna do is just clear out this little space of trees so I know that when we unlock our park detail and stuff I want to come back here and, and do some nice little park details so I think with these two roads we'll just go ahead and draw out some pretty generic suburban stuff it's not gonna be nothing too kind of special uh, we've got some nice little patterns in. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in a road 
that's going to be parallel with these two. And then we'll bring this kind of on the curve. And then hook him in like that. So I'm kind of thinking this space here where all these trees are will eventually be occupied by that kind of suburban vibe. We also, before I forget, <laughs> uh, we now have the new inland water treatment plant, of course, from Sunset Harbour. Um, so we want to go ahead and get this in somewhere. Now we can actually bring it up alongside the highway. And this thing is super polluted, so we want to make sure it's not like here. Kind of where it's near the water tower, because that would be bad news bears for our citizens. I think we'll just kind of drop it in here. Like, I'm not too bothered about the way this industrial area looks right now. You know, I mentioned it, it kind of, it's going to look ugly. It's going to be very polluted, but we will eventually tidy this up. But uh, yeah, that's going to be our, our water treatment sorted. And uh, I guess we've got 17,000 left to spend. So our power, our water, water treatment. Uh, we'll carry on spending a little more cash. And then what we can do is we'll begin to kind of hook everyone in with the water pipes. So let's start to get a little bit of a pattern here. So I don't just want to stick kind of totally grid. Um, I do want to kind of get some little curves in here. And maybe we can come out by that distance. So let's have a little bit of a, a through road that comes through here. And one of the goals I want to kind of work with for this series is I want to try and make the vanilla game look as beautiful as possible. Um, I hope that sounds appealing to, to you guys um, as kind of the viewers. But yeah, really want to make it kind of really nice, detail as much as we can. And then just make it look nice. So right here, we have too many traffic lights. But once we unlock... Oh, we already have them. My mistake. So let's come into our traffic routes and junctions and have a little scan through with some of our traffic lights. Pretty sure that's all of them for right now. Yeah, we're good for the meantime, I think. Uh, let's actually give these guys another connecting road into this point. That way you could even have a little one-way flow system here. Let's make them flow in this way and then they can come out this side. Um, just a little temporary thing for right now so it doesn't kind of clog this junction up along here. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, got a little more cash to spend so let's kind of have a little another look at our little residential pattern here. And uh, maybe just bring it out by another little block down here. Now this will get us through our first few milestones. Maybe have a little dead end road there too. Now we'll kind of see. We also want to have a little neat one way flow system through the river here as well. Uh, once we get down to that area. So you guys know that I'm a fan of specific zoning. Uh, however for the start of this particular city. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in some of the big chunks. Although we are going to kind of carve up some of these ones along here. Uh, so yeah, we're leaving these squares here empty for right now, just until we uh, unlock some of the parkland stuff, and then we can do some nice little kind of path and little cute details to just to help bring this little suburb to life a little bit more. All this and all this. So we can go kind of specific 4x4s if we want to. Uh, but I'm happy for this little suburb to be a, a little bit kind of messy. A little bit in, almost inconsistent by nature, I guess is the phrase. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do some of these as well. Let's get some of these houses in. And then again, all this. Some of these will eventually be deleted for allow the roads to flow through. And um, we'll have some kind of hooking system around uh, these two little roads that will eventually flow over the roundabout. We'll kind of see how it progresses. And uh, last thing will be power lines. So let's make sure that everyone is going to be happy and powered. Uh, let's come out from here. And then we'll come across into the roundabout. Put over here. So I could kind of make it fall the road as decoration, but for right now, we just want at least some power going over. We'll worry about tidying stuff up like that towards the end. Uh, but yeah, for right now guys, that is going to be my starting layout. If you guys want the bird's eye view of it, there you go. It's got a nice little flowing main street here. And uh, I think we're about ready to hit play. So we've got about 6,000 left. So yeah, it's a pretty expensive start to the city. But uh, it's effective and it'll look great as well once we kind of get some buildings coming in. Let's kind of watch it, uh, watch it come to life. So I really hope you guys are excited for this series as much as I am. 
I really, uh, I really can't wait just to, just to get stuck in. So we'll hopefully have someone spawn in here in the moment, and then we'll be able to kind of put these guys into the power grid. Maybe even bring him. Yeah, okay, let's just uh, bring him up there, just so they they stay happy. So we'll make a mon monumental loss at the start, as we always do. But uh, you know, we'll quickly uh, recover that back once people start coming in. So we've got a little bit of commercial demand and industrial demand beginning to peak up right now. So I think we will be quite careful with our zoning um, towards the commercial. So I think we actually have some more. I think we'll get some more residences in here as well. And I'm going to go quite specific with the commercial. So and kind of as they're driving into the town here. You're going to be met with a couple of small shops. You know, it's not going to be kind of immediate high street. Uh, we'll just kind of begin to map out some of our little commercial blocks here. So we can maybe go for another couple of big ones as this kind of grows and comes into play. Now we're having our first sunset as well. How is the sunset on Murky Coast? Oh, it's beautiful. Do you guys prefer it to Begusia? Is this a better sunset? I bet we can get some nice cinematic shots with this. <laughs> okay, but uh, people are growing up. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and drop in some of that industrial stuff. Uh, so again, we'll kind of keep these fairly sensible. It's not going to be too much. I guess we can just fill them in actually because you know this isn't going to be a permanent fixture uh, within Palavan. This kind of horrible looking gross zoned industry. We will eventually get into some of the um, industry stuff once we unlock it. And here we go. So let's have a look at, look at how our high streets develop in here. So once these buildings come in, uh, we'll be able to sink power through from the residential. So I'm kind of thinking on this little point here, as we kind of unlock those detailing assets we can draw in paths along here maybe you drop like a little dog park on the corner here come the people <laughs> all in one go they have arrived welcome welcome to Palavan. here they go oh we have a we have the aurora on this map as well oh isn't it just beautiful uh, let me guys know if you want to kind of see the day-night cycle on during the episodes. And I understand it can be a little bit hard to see when we're building. Um, you know, just to see a little shot like this of this little cute town with the under the Borealis. Fantastic. Anyway, let's uh, let's stop fantasizing about that and uh, can carry on with some of our zoning here. So we've got a little, little more industrial coming in. We'll probably have some along here as well. So yeah, these roads right now, they will remain empty, but uh, we'll kind of see everyone come in. Let's get a little nighttime shot of the water tower. It's very nice, I do like it. And there we go, that is our first milestone. So a little homework that's going to give us taxes, loans, and we're going to get garbage, healthcare, education and campus areas. So first of all, we want to get the elementary school down uh, and the landfill site as well. They're going to be the first things we want to do. Let's go ahead and pause and we'll come into our loans. We're going to take the Silver Sunset Bank who want to give us 20 grand. Thank you very much. Uh, and then we're going to raise our taxes up to the standard 12%. So 12%, if you don't know, it's pretty much kind of the golden marker. Um, it won't nerf your demand, but you'll get more money out of it. Kind of anything higher than that, you tend to see a drop in demand. So um, yeah, 12% is uh, kind of the golden rule. And, uh, let's draw out a little bit of industrial demand here because we will need to fulfill it eventually. And, uh, let's have a look at that landfill. And again, we'll place it here. Won't be here forever. Not too bothered about the industrial estate. And uh, let's begin to map out something of uh, a little bit of a school area. Oh, the sunrise. Let's uh, let's catch the sunrise. Oh yeah, there's almost like mist flowing around as well. 
it's a totally different vibe to Bagusia, isn't it? I hope you all agree. Oh, yeah, there's that, uh, that kind of sunset on the water that we love. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to enjoy kind of building in this style. Uh, okay, so let's have a little discussion about our school. Uh, we'll leave the game on three speed whilst we kind of try and get some of that money in. So this would be a good point right here, I think. So we're going to be surrounded. So we'll come out by 120. And you guys know what's coming down here. We're going to kind of separate our main road here. So we could go for the elementary school. Or we could go for the community school. So the community school is more expensive, it costs more to place, and it has less capacity. But as a result, it looks a lot nicer. So I think we'll go... I think we'll go community school. Just because it looks good. This is going to force a lot of our buildings uh, to level up, which will be uh, rather nice. So we have some little more money now. Let's go ahead and begin to keep expanding this awful industrial estate. I will mention it every time, by the way, in case you're wondering <laughs> uh, how much we don't like this type of industry. Uh, but we will get to some of the more fun stuff. So we did also not the med clinic last uh, milestone, but you don't really need them kind of in a new city, not until people get a real sick. So he's like kind of a sick person over here, but he quickly goes away. We have zero sick citizens and it costs 400 a week to maintain, which at the minute is pretty much half of our weekly income. Uh, so it's not something we really want to be doing. Oh, make sure that these guys are watered up. I do apologize for the uh, inefficient pipe layout, but you know, we're making money. It's fine. Super. So our little, uh, a little commercial high street is starting to develop. Let's have a little more commercial on this corner right here. And then we'll start to kind of come into some higher density stuff here. Well, not higher density, but kind of a little more packed out. So this guy right here is kind of breaking the small town vibe, so I don't want him. We'll wait for a smaller asset to come in and generate. And we'll just kind of have a little scan around. If there's something that you like the look of, then go ahead and make it historical. Right, there's kind of these like diner looking buildings. It looks like a little kind of ice cream parlor, even though it's a drugstore apparently. So I think I'll make him historical. Yeah, we got some major residential demand. So let's begin to kind of uh, pan out our area here. So how close are we to the river? I think we'll bring everyone down by another 20 tiles. And then we'll bring them across. And then let's have him just come in, just so we're breaking kind of that little bit of a little bit of a pattern. And then we'll plan in that little one-way feeder system. So we'll have it. Let's kind of come out this way. I think we'll leave three tiles between the road. And then what this will do is eventually, once we bring that road down here, it will hook into the road that's leading off of the roundabout. So we'll have a little bit of a bypass system for people to not come all the way through here. If they want to just get over here, for example, then they have a little, they have the, they have the option to do that, you know. Okay, let's uh, bring our water pipes down again. And then we'll go ahead and start filling out some of this. So again, all this is pretty even. It's really even coverage. We can just bring these guys up. So I think I will keep a uh, dynamic weather and the day-night cycle off whilst we're building, and then we'll put it on for the cinematics because this is such a such a weather-intense map. There's lots of fog and rain all the time. <laughs> so, uh, but no, if you guys enjoy it, let me know. We will keep it on. But otherwise, uh, we'll we'll record with it off. Okay, so still a bunch more residential demand, and that is our second milestone already. So we're going to unlock a new tile, we're going to get districts and policies, which is fantastic news. We're going to get a second loan, our district specialisations, service policies. 
Emergency services, which is great. We're going to get a couple of unique buildings too. Forestry specialization and agriculture. Uh, that'd be really good. We'll, we'll definitely do an episode on forestry. Uh, that'll be our first industry in this map, I imagine. Uh, Self-sufficiency, wonderful. We'll get some green city stuff in. And uh, a couple of policies which uh, won't really apply to us just yet. So, we have our little school along here at the moment. And I think what we'll do... I want to find a nice little place for our police station to reside along. And I, th I think we'll go with it here. So if we bring the road down, and we'll have it up. Obviously, we don't want it to be one way. It's just going to be a little dead-end road. And then let's go for the police station right about here. So we've got a police station now, which is fantastic news. Let's go ahead and find a place for our firehouse. So we want him to have pretty good access into the industry as well as everywhere else. So I think kind of along the main road here um, is going to be ideal. So I think we'll place it, place it about there. So he has easy access to the roundabout, you can quickly get to the industry or you can just turn around and come back into the residences over here. Right, let's have a little further discussion about this little one-way system that's going to come in. So as this begins to expand, we'll come out probably another 10 tiles either one. Come out like this. And then we can do some really nice kind of path decorating through the middle of this as it's kind of flanked by really expensive houses either side of it. It'll look pretty cool I think, once it's done. Uh, and then we'll just begin to curve off as we start to explore uh, this second corner of the map. So again, make sure that we're leaving three tiles distance between each of these roads. That'll just maintain a nice bit of symmetry as we come through. And uh, we're getting some more commercial demand. So we could just keep this high street going, which is fine, but it's a little boring. So I think what we'll do is we'll begin begin to factor in something of a town centre for a future episode for this kind of suburb around this area. So let's just satisfy a little more of that commercial demand. We'll just bring in some blocks along this side. Nothing too major for right now. And then we'll go ahead and grab our little roads. And we'll start to expand our suburbia along with this as well. So I think what we'll do here is we'll get in some of those 30 by 30 grids. And this way we can just change up the pattern from what's over here so it's not repeated uh, all the way along. And then let's go ahead and we'll leave it right there. And then for this area we'll just bring a road through here. And then we can have some little blocks that are just going to be there. And we get some nice paths and stuff flowing through here eventually. Uh, and then we can go ahead and fill all of this in. And then we've got our residential demand ready for when we get some of that green bar topping up. So we've run out of money. That's fine. Let's go into our loan. We'll take the next one. We'll pay the old one. And we'll take it again. And just like that, we are back up to 75000 you know, it's, a, it's an expensive start to the city, but the loans and the milestones will see you through. And uh, we'll just kind of get a little look here as to how the streets begin to develop. It looks like I'm still playing with an asset on. I will delete that, don't worry. The, uh, the petrol station won't be there forever. But yeah, it's a uh, nice little kind of vibes developing around this point right now. Industrials. The industrial is industrial. It's um, it's about as nice as you can make it, I think. But, you know, we will eventually clear all this out for some uh, for some spicy forestry stuff, which we'll spend an episode looking at as well. Okay, let's have a look at mapping out that town centre. And again, we'll kind of work on this uh, next episode. So we do have some farmland here. 
we may do some farming some over here as well whether or not we turn this into farmland I don't know I kind of want this just to be kind of ruling suburb uh, with a town center in it I guess we'll see so I'm gonna bring this road up from a corner and we're gonna go out by 30 delete this one we're gonna come out by 30 again we're gonna come up by 30 and then across so this is gonna give us a perfect square of 30 by 30 and we'll just kind of begin to plan some town centre stuff in around here. And just like that, we're going to hit Tiny Town, three milestones in one episode. Uh, we're going to get park areas, uh, industry areas are coming in as well, landscaping. Oh, this is the fun stuff. This is what we'll this is what we'll look at for the next episode, I think. We've got parks and plazas coming in. Lots and lots of exciting policies. Oh, where are they? Here we go. <laughs> Zoo paths have returned. Uh, canals, which we'll do some fun stuff with as well. Uh, lots of fences. This is going to be fantastic. It's really going to be good. So what we can do is now we'll kind of round off the first episode uh, by doing something with these little spaces here. So I guess kind of the take-home point from this, what we're talking about right now, is the fact that not everything needs to be zoned up, you know? So we've got lots of people walking around here. So let's go ahead and get some of these little paths in. So I'm just going to stick to the regular gravel path for, for right now because I think it will kind of suit this area best. And um, with all my snapping off, we are going to come in to kind of each of the corners and make a little bit of a little bit of a park crossing. So if you wanted to, you can actually go ahead and make these city parks, but I think for this area that's a little bit overkill. Uh, maybe we throw in a park asset kind of IRL. Um, the dog park here would work tremendously well. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. And then we can just go ahead and plop in those paths again. So we'll bring him up to the corner and then from right here he can come around and into there. Super, so that's our base layout. Let's go ahead now and grab some of the taller trees. Oh, so we have the pines in this map as well. These will be fun. So as these are so tall, I only want kind of a few of these. Nothing, don't really want them everywhere. Maybe have one in the corner here as well. And then let's maybe grab kind of like a smaller conifer. Right, we'll, we'll place a few of these in. There's going to be lots of uh, conifer and pine detail in the city. And maybe one more as well. And then maybe a couple of these kind of ones we use a lot in Magusia. Uh, these are making a, an, another appearance, I guess. And then we'll grab a couple of smaller trees. And then maybe some rocks. So let's go for some of these smaller ones around the entrance to our little kind of false parkland here. So the trees will block noise pollution, but as for kind of the the value of the land, uh, it won't really change. It's just for kind of aesthetic purposes, and then maybe just a touch of overgrowth around the base of these little clusters of trees, just like this. Nothing too crazy for for the first episode, and then we'll just see this little. It's almost like a border between the suburb and the high street here. And uh, yeah, that's gonna look, that's gonna look pretty sweet. I think I'm happy with that. Uh, we'll do some similar stuff as well around uh, the elementary school here. Let's come ahead and grab a path of our choosing. I think we'll go for nature reserve with decorations. Uh, I'm gonna snap to the grid here. With my straight road tool. I'm moving it up to the end. No, it just looks like a trodden path, you know, like people are walking on it and kind of in and around the, the edge of the elementary. Uh, and then we'll do something similar along here as well, outside of our police station. And then maybe up and around. Let's grab ourselves a rock. like this 
and then we'll go for looks like I've still got a few assets turned on in the workshop we'll turn those off let's grab the smaller tree and then just one final little touch up we can do let's come into our landscaping and we'll grab some walls and fences and then if we grab our nature reserve with all the snapping off we can do something really nice with the boundaries of these little parklands that we've made here so I'm just going to draw in little straight lines and then just almost like fracture the fence so it's kind of a little bit broken down a little bit old and rickety and it'll really just help give a nice little border to this park area that we've made do the same thing on this one as well now, I'm going to keep it straight just because I guess it kind of makes sense for them to use straight pieces of wood to build a fence like this I doubt they would go to the effort to kind of like warp the wood into shape if that makes sense I don't know I, I'm not a professional landscaper <laughs> I'm sure that somebody might be able to answer that question so we'll keep to the straight tool and then this will just allow us to come in to come into our trees let's grab a few bushes and then just place a couple of bushes along the edge of your fences maybe a couple in between the little gaps as well I know all this is super basic detail and it's something you can do really early in the game and it just helps to bring this little square to life that a little bit more you know it's not just empty land it's not just more endless zoning it is just a nice little parkland that helps to decorate the area so I think it looks pretty good Alright guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like below is always appreciated. Equally as much if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Really enjoyed this start and super looking forward to getting stuck into the rest of this city. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. It's a totally different vibe to Bagusia. So uh, we'll see what kind of different things we can do and generate within this map. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I'll leave it there. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.